cloudy, but it's hot. We are loaded up, we're ready to go. Let's start this adventure, huh? This is the, at like the edge of a cliff right okay. here. Dad, can we Wait. maybe go down the cliff? Uh, potentially. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so crazy. Whoa, this is so cool. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Open up those windows so you can look out there. We might be able to go down you can, one. You can look. You can could, see could we Wait, go down from over there? Are we allowed to park here? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna park somewhere. I we're camping look, here for I a couple days. Really? Yeah. 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 Dad, this is so cool. Well, back in front of the bus again, like usual. We made it to uh, the epic boondocking spot. Um, I know it as a nomadic view from, I think it was Campendium or uh, maybe free campsites. I don't know, you know, it's on all the sites, of course. It's that one south of Wall in the Badlands and uh, there it is. There's the Badlands, right? It's absolutely beautiful out here. There's uh, cattle out in the distance over there. Uh, it's just, it's really nice. Um, so we got here last night. It was a little cool. It's getting a little warm today. Um, probably gonna hit 80. And uh, again, we do not have a generator. Um, so we're staying cool with our fans. And at some point we might run some air. Our kids uh, turned on the air conditioner last night even though it got into the 50s and we didn't know about it. So uh, our batteries did get run down to about 67% or so. So I'd like to get them in a little bit more of a healthy spot before we uh, turn them on for the day. Uh, we were thinking this afternoon because we got a pupper there that needs to stay cool and a couple of cats, a couple, four, four cats. Uh, we travel with quite a crew. Um, but while we were trying to get uh, batteries charged, I noticed something. We were only making about 2,000 watts, maybe, sometimes 1,900 uh, or 1,800, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, so let me show you what I found out here. So I came in the bay here just to make sure nothing was uh, going wrong, but I noticed these cut charge controllers were very, very warm, and this one's still, ooh, it's a little bit warm. This one, not so bad. Um, Basically what's happening is they are just getting hot and so they're throttling back. There's no reason why we should not be making 2,400 watts right now, right? We've got uh, 1.8 kilowatt, it looks like, coming in. Um, but we should have more, probably more like two, uh, well over two kilowatt. I mean, my kids are inside doing crazy stuff. So what I did was, uh, I wired up this little USB fan because it's just what I had using a little wall wart uh, to USB power adapter and so that's on that's blowing air up there it's keeping this one cool uh, the other thing I've done from time to time is I take a wet uh, paper towel and I set that on these and that kind of provides some evaporative cooling so something like that I definitely need to figure out a way to keep these charge controllers cool if I'm gonna max them out like this, or 
I need to uh, maybe go to bigger charge controllers because um, this is just is not going to cut it if I need all that power. <clears throat> so that's kind of one of the things about RVing that I've learned is there's always a problem. You got to learn to roll with it and uh, adapt and figure out a way to solve the problem and move on. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. And worst case scenario, we'll idle the bus engine for a little bit. Um, and it's not really idling it because it's under a pretty heavy load because it's working that alternate alternator pretty hard and it's basically working as a generator. Uh, yeah, we might run that for a half hour just to make sure the batteries are good and topped up. Tomorrow we should be fine. Um, assuming everything through the night goes well. And, uh, anyway, I don't have a whole lot more for this video. Uh, we're going to hang around maybe a couple more days here at this site. And then we're going to move on to Black Hills, and we'll probably see you then. So uh, until then, we will uh, see you next time. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like it, and all that stuff if you want to see what we're doing. I'm going to try and post as often as we can and edit and all that as long as I have data. So see ya.